tell me what you feel like about being a bride of Christ. Uh, I think it's, it's really good because you get to realise that God loves you and everyone. Yeah. Will, how do you feel about all this? Well, it's nice weather for it, isn't it? I've got some What do you feel about being part of the Bride of Christ? Oh. Very privileged and happy. <laughs> don't, don't be so. <laughs> what do you feel about being part of the Bride of Christ? It is for eternity. Wise words there for What do you feel about being part of the Bride of Christ? It's very nice. Can you tell me what you feel about the difference between a junior and a senior yeah, CFG we're weekend? married to God! <laughs> Can you tell me what you feel about the difference about being junior and senior CFG weekend? Well this is serious and... <laughs> you, I, you really feel very close to God on this. I really felt very close to God on this trip. As in the last one, it was a bit more just having a bit more fun, but this one's been... We, I've really had a good time being close to God. So it's serious? Yes! Tell me about your feelings about being part of the Bride of Christ. Um... Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Jeff! Um, well, this morning I was thinking about how um, I like the fact that it's the bride and not the groom because um, I know it's got loads of other meanings behind it, but um, especially like going through all the God stuff now, it's just kind of um, it's kind of almost empowering that um, the Lord chose it to be the um, like the metaphor to be um, the bride and stuff, and um, to be a bride of Christ is just amazing because I think with a lot of people that. Um, always out searching for someone and um, like everyone says well you're searching for Jesus but um, it just kind of really brings it back home a lot more I think. How do you feel about the wedding? It was a hassle setting up but we got there in the end. <laughs> about being a bride of Christ, part of the bride of Christ. God's a great kisser. <laughs> No, he probably is. Jesus is best at everything, so he's probably a really good person. Yeah, very loving. But yeah, being a bride of Christ is great. Because you're bound legally as well, so you really can't get out of that love thing. And yeah, God keeps him. For someone to jump on. Jeffrey, what do you feel about the bride of Christ? She's not much of a looker. You are the bride. <laughs> That's what he means. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> See what? That is the bride of Christ. That's, <laughs> not, that's hardly a. Oh, oh, I'm kidding. Kidding. Sorry, Alex. The house of Christ. <laughs> just, just ask Jeff what happened. Yeah. So, tell me the difference between a junior and a senior TFG weekend. Um, a junior, you can go into girls' rooms. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear that. On a junior, you can go into girls' rooms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Powerful, isn't it? I mean, TFG is just amazing. I mean, all this passion for all these people. It's a much larger group and everything. Um, and they seem to be much firmer in their belief. Your first TFG weekend, what do you feel about it? Brilliant, yeah, it's good. I am the bride of Christ. Why is it good? Um, you look, I learned a lot of new things. Like, like um, no. passages from the Bible. Yeah. Such as? Um, the Genesis one. Genesis 24. Yeah. That's the one. Or was it 26? Really sure. well, Richard, this is your first TFT weekend. Yes, it is. How do you feel about it? Wicked. Awesome. Really good thing. I'm, I'm doing the wonder thing. Fantastic. I think it was, it was, it was bumtastic. It was really good and um, did you learn anything? I did, I did. It, you feel really I felt really close to God at this time. It's wicked, it's really good. But weekend. Ex student weekend, I'm on there. I'm on that. <laughs> How many things am I holding up? TFG weekend! Yay! Yeah. Give me a kiss! <laughs> Get any thumbs up do that one. Promiscuous lips! <laughs> it's not even on. Right. No. It's not recording. I made that up! <laughs>
Peace to the earth. Hi Jeff. What do you feel of this weekend, sir? Awesome. Really, really good. Have you learnt anything this weekend? Uh, a lot. Yeah, very much so. Very helpful. What have you learnt? <laughs> um, I'm not very useful at this, am I? Thanks, I've learned that. <laughs> it's difficult to summarise. Have you learnt anything? <laughs> Bride Day, they're all so funny. Oh, I injured my <laughs> okay, can you listen to Harry, please? Shh. Wherever he is. Shh. Okay, everyone gather. Alex, we're here for the wedding reception. Woo! Right, this is where. Best one does the embarrassing stories about the bride and the groom. So, uh, as you're all the brides, you all know each other and the embarrassing stories. Caleb's already been exposed. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. You may think, that's oh, God. You can't be embarrassing stories about him. But then, he was born amongst animals and poo and uh, smell. Uh, oh, uh, 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 <laughs> he hung out with all the losers, with all the prostitutes and drug dealers, which may be cool in these days, but then, that was embarrassing. And then, most embarrassing of all, then what happened? Then he died. But he didn't die in a glorious battle, he was just strapped to a piece of wood and slowly suffocated, and then was chucked in the grave and got nothing up. So, he's done all this, that's embarrassing, but he did that all for us. Kind of the most powerful king who came down, he was embarrassed for us. And he did all that for us, so I want you to just take away that with you and just remember that in a way that when you're married you should be ready for anything. Amen. Amen. Amen.